us direction. He said, I will guide you and give you direction. Even as our father read throughout their travel, the Holy Spirit was the one that led them. That was trying to go into another town, but the, the Holy Ghost said, uh-uh. They ain't know why, and guess what? They ain't even question because they believe what the Lord has said. So then they had to go to another place, and the, and the Lord allowed them to go into this other land and do the works of the Lord mm -hmm. because he was going to meet a man. And so if we shift our minds and stay in the Holy Spirit, we can always allow things to take place. Yes. So back on Paul and Silas, even when they were put in prison, uh -huh. my God, come on, come on. they still worshiped the Lord. Yes. They didn't stay in their mindset to try to figure out why they was locked up and how they was getting out. Uh -huh. They just stayed right there. And they shifted and transferred it into the spirit of the Lord. Yeah. And then the jailer went to sleep. That was the spirit of the Lord too. Because he rests ruling the Bible over everything. Yes, he does. He have to come subject to the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. See, we're talking about awakening of the spirit. So when the spirit was awakening, it allowed the guard to go to sleep. But then when the jail cell came open, uh -huh. they still stood there following the instructions. Paul and Silas knew what was going on, but the other people didn't. But that's because that was already a spirit. They knew ahead of time. See, when you shift like that, you already know what's ahead of you. You already know what's going to go on. But you know you can't be moved and you can't be, you got to stay steadfast and know who you are. Because you have transformed yourself into a spirit form. Come on! So because you transform yourself into a spirit form, uh -huh. you just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Uh -huh. So even in the midst of them standing still in the salvation of the Lord, God still came in, high uh -huh. my uh -huh. and still allowed his mighty works to shift. Even the jailer didn't even know what happened. Uh -huh. Cause he wasn't even in the spirit. Yeah. But he said, what must I do to be saved? Come on! What must I do to receive what it is that you have? Because he knew it was either that or he was going to get up out of here. He was going to die. They were going to kill us because they didn't know what happened. But even the spirit allowed Paul and Silas, and this was what was just tripping me out. Even though the, the doors came open, they still stood there. They ain't go nowhere. They stood still. They knew what God was doing. They said, God got the victory out of this. Uh -huh. All I got to stand still and just stay in the spirit realm. Uh -huh. So I said, okay, God. And as eventually as we continue to discuss this, I realized that even whoever put the order out for them to be locked up, he had to come back and free them. Uh -huh. He didn't even understand it himself. But when you realize who you are in Christ and you get yourself into the spirit of God. You can move mountains. Even it took the Holy Spirit for Moses to go into the mountaintops to even receive how to lead the people out of the Israelites. And so we go through from day to day trying to figure out how we're going to do this, how we're going to do that. Yeah, I do it too. Until I learn how to shift and go into the spirit and listen for instructions from the Lord. And I said, okay, God. So he took me back to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of his word. You have got to have the spirit of God on the inside of you to even understand mm -hmm. what he's doing. So then we try to figure out why is people still not getting delivered? Uh -huh. Why people still ain't being set free? Right. Why everywhere I go it seems like I'm sitting in a mental institute? Uh -huh. Because the people mindset is, is, is blocked. Because there's nobody in part taken as Paul did. Paul had enough power to go out and lay hands. Come on. For them to receive the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. And then they were instantly transformed and they believed and they received. Uh -huh. But if we true men and women in the body of Christ really mount up with our wings and know who we are and stop this shenanigan stuff. Come on. That keeps going on in, in church after church as usual thinking it's just all about them. They can't even shift in the spirit to get their own people set free. Uh-huh. The spirit is what sets you free. Yes. 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 But it starts with the head. Yes. So now I understand why they had to be the apostles to come in the house uh -huh. and set the, pick the house in order. Because they had the spirit that could actually go in and shift some things. So then, I wonder why. I said, God, what are you saying? Really, 
think even in the spirit, I can't even fault the people that's sitting out here. But I have to go back to the leaders. Yeah. Are you in the spirit? Because if you truly operate in the spirit of the Lord, your people won't look like they sit up in middle institutes and can't get nobody else to live that set free. Come on. He said no the spirit, not the spirit. Come on, you know come on. The spirit. Come on. So if I'm going up in your household of faith and I'm looking at you and I'm looking at your people, uh -huh. I'm gonna see, I'm trying to understand what kind of spirit I'm sitting up in. Uh-huh. What's going on? Uh-huh. I said we we traveled to South Carolina, Longburn. And I said, God, what is going on? The people are making mockery of you. Mm. They make a mockery of God. Because they want to play games. Mm -mm -mm. And the time is now that this is not a game. It's not. This is no longer not a game. When we're talking about awakening of the spirit, yes. this is real. God yes, didn't just is. give you this word just to play it just because I want to have a program. Uh -huh. No. He is really trying to wake up the body of Christ to the spirit of what he said because he's sounding the alarm. Yes. And the very elect ones that cannot transform themselves into the spirit go miss. Come on. When God comes up in the house. Yeah. I have had so many dreams. I said, God, what do you say? He said, it's my spirit that's opening you up to show you what is to come. Uh-huh. But the people standing won't make mockery of him. They standing won't make mockery of God. They want to do the hooping and the shouting and the holler that still ain't delivered and set free. Yes. They yes. still in bondage yes. in their mindset. I said, Lord, what in the world? I promise you, I felt like I was at Dorothy Dix in a mental institute because everybody in the place was locked up in their mind. They was in prison. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But even if you in a prison state like Paul and Silas, mm -hmm. they still knew how to shift in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. They know how to shift in the spirit yes. and stand still because they knew already what was ahead. Uh -huh. They already knew that God was going to allow them to have victory in the beginning. Uh -huh. They already knew no matter what the cells look like, I ain't concentrating what's on the inside. I'm looking at what's on the outside because God have allowed the spirit to travel. Yeah. How am I show you yeah. Say, yeah. To see that they was already free. Uh -huh. They wasn't blocked up in their mindset. It might have looked like you from the from the inside, but on the outside, yeah. they knew who they were. Uh -huh. They knew how to travel the mind and the spirit. Uh -huh. I even go as far as their spirit travel to the king and put forth the order uh -huh. for them to be locked up to say, "Look, you got to let them go." Uh -huh. Huh? Even with Moses, when he led the people out of Israel, uh -huh. the spirit had to go to the king and say, "Let my people go." Uh -huh. How much say y'all gonna say? Taken out 
out by the Holy Ghost. He got me covered. Amen. He got me covered. Yeah. My God. We sit in church Sunday after Sunday. We sit in these conferences after conference. I said, ain't nobody getting delivered. Ain't nobody getting set free. What's the purpose? Mm -hmm. what, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. But the Lord shows us these signs. He shows us these things. I shared with prophetess when I first met her. The Lord had just awakened me to a dream. Then I shared it with the woman of God. She said, I ain't time to dream. So if I'm in spirit, then he's going to show me what's to come so I know how to gird up my lines and be prepared for it. Because he said the weapons of our warfare are not come, but they are mighty for the pulling down of the stronghold. So if I stay right where I am, I become invisible to the world. And I know how to travel in the spirit and make some things happen. Come on. Then we wonder why, Lord, oh, Lord, it's me. Here I am. We remember this day. Wishing somebody made me glad. Seek ye first the kingdom. And all these things shall be added. Because if I seek God first, I'm shifting in the spirit. <sighs> so many people get messed up because of so many false people that ain't even operating in truth. Which is the spirit of the Lord. I say, God, I don't want to speak nothing that is not of you. I even go back and question. I don't care nothing about no titles. Mm -hmm. I don't care how big you think you are. You can be the archbishop. I don't care. President Obama, I don't care. You ain't operating in spirit. You ain't operating in truth. My God. But I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Because when we come into the knowledge and the awareness of who we are, mm -hmm. we're held accountable. And he want to make sure that we do our first work. We are very held accountable for what we do. And so now that I'm in the awareness of the spirit, I got to be very sensitive to the spirit. And it just behooves me on how people just want to think that this is a game to be a prophet, a pastor, a pastor. Oh, this ain't no fun. No, you have accountable. Because he's looking at you in the spirit. And then you wonder, oh, when you go before judgment, but I, but I, but I. He said, partner, I know you're not. I don't know what spirit you was of. You still stuck into the spirit of repentance, but you never received the spirit of the Holy Spirit. I believe that God have all of us to obtain this. Because if he did, it wouldn't be in his word. That's it. It wouldn't be in his word. A man of God shared a story with me about an a, a, a archbishop that became blind after 60 some years. And he said, well, God, why? But he had to go right back to the room. He never really operated in the spirit. He never operated in the spirit. Okay, so now, if we don't understand how to get the spirit of the Lord, we know Paul way ahead, but let's go back and ask God to allow us to receive the spirit of the Holy Ghost and the evidence of speaking in tongues. Because that's our weapon. That's our weapon. He said, we put on the whole armor. I believe the whole armor is the spirit. Because then we're protected. And so then, if we are already trapped in the spirit and we know what's ahead of us, then things won't be, oh my God, what did happen? You already know. Mm -hmm. And guess what? It comes by fasting and praying. Yeah. Fasting and praying. And some of us don't even take the time to do that. We don't even do that. Because we're too busy about our day. Mm -hmm. Even Mary knew to sit at Jesus' feet. Mm -hmm. And she sat there and, and, and with the Holy Spirit. It was even the anointing of Jesus that allowed the woman with the issue. Mm -hmm. And I believe even with her issue, she had to go with the Spirit first. To believe and receive that she was already healed. She traveled in Spirit. People missed that. Oh, the woman touched the hem of his garment and she was made whole. She was made whole before she got there because she took her mind and transformed it into a spirit and said, I got to get to the man because I know he's the one with the hip. I already, so guess what? When she got there, she was already healed. Jesus just wanted to know who it was that touched because he knew that she was a believer. Uh -huh. The spirit knew that spirit. Uh -huh. yep. Thousands of people touched Jesus' garment. 
Come on. But it was only one. Yeah. That, that was he real. Knew was in the spirit. Yeah. She shifted herself in the spirit. Uh huh. She probably didn't even realize what she had done before she got to him. But she already had transformed and traveled in her mindset. <laughs> and it's such a powerful thing. How about Shaya Bosa? How we just go in our mind and just know, in spite of when we can't call on our friends, the Holy Ghost. As we said before, you've seen the song about Jesus being, being in contact. I said, Jesus is on the main line. Uh -huh. That's the connection of the Holy Amen. Spirit. That's the awakening. When we come into the awareness and the knowledge of who we are in Christ. Amen. 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 I'm done. I'm done. There's nothing else. But I just encourage you all today.